So the next meditation which I'm going to lead is the death process. Uh, last time Shan led this meditation and the way I lead it is slightly different but it's basically the same but you know it's good to hear different presentations so so bring your mind back here on your seat with your body Leave behind everything from the break, even the taste in your mouth, let go. All the thoughts, all the discussions, all the words, let go. Be here right now with this body and with your mind come back to the situation presented in the previous meditation imagine it is the actual time of death. And already you did the work mentioned in the previous meditation you made arrangements for your loved ones not to be in the room while you die unless they are willing and able to sit completely silently so that your mind is not disturbed You already let go of your possessions, your wealth, and your loved ones. And you are ready now to begin to let go of your body. And also to let go of the ordinary gross mind of this life including your identity of your personality you're ready to take off your mask You want to do that. You remember this me is just imputed by the mind there is nothing existing inherently that is me in fact when I die truly there is nothing 
to let go of. So now, imagine that you are healthy enough to sit in meditation posture as you die. Your mind is clear. Not too much pain. and prepared to simply observe the process. And the energy holding the mind to the earth element in the body is becoming weaker and you are not connecting with the hardness in your body. You just don't feel the bones, the teeth, the nails, any more It's as if you dissolve into the earth element and an inner vision like a mirage appears. Inside your mind. And slowly your mind begins to withdraw from connection with the water element. Which means all the liquids of your body. Slowly you stop feeling any liquid. It's still there, but you can't feel it. It makes you feel dry. Like the desert. And there's an inner vision like smoke inside your mind. And now your mind is slowly withdrawing from contact with the water element, the fire element, I mean. We already did the water. We're withdrawing from the fire element. There is still some heat in the body, but we gradually stop feeling it.
and there's an inner vision like sparks above a fire at night. in the mind. And now the mind begins to withdraw from contact with the wind element which is the energy of movement. Movement of the lungs, the limbs, the nervous system. And when you no longer feel connection with the wind element, everything becomes totally still in your mind, you no longer experience movement. And there is an inner vision like the end of the flame of a candle or butter lamp, just before it finishes. And now your mind is completely disconnected from your gross body. There will be an experience as the white drop descends from the top of your head towards your heart. And then when the red drop ascends from the navel towards your heart. But the gross body is in the past for you. Even though it's still there, you no longer feel it. You don't remember anything. You cannot think anything. The words have stopped. And the pictures have stopped. The mind has become subtle. And as the white drop descends, the mind only has a white appearance, stretching in all directions, like the whiteness of the full moon in the clear sky. And then as the red drop begins to come up from the navel towards the heart, the mind becomes more subtle and experiences red increase, which is like the light of the red setting sun in a clear sky, 
filling space with redness. And as these two drops, the white and the red, enter the heart center, at the center of the heart chakra, the mind becomes even more subtle and goes into a darkness. Like a night with no moon or stars. At first you are conscious of the darkness. There is awareness. But then you become unconscious. You are in darkness, but you don't even know it. This is called the black near attainment. And it's from within this darkness that naturally, without any effort, the clear light arises. like the very first light at the very beginning of dawn in a clear sky. And when that happens, the mind is totally non-conceptual. It simply experiences the clear light without duality. You don't need to make any effort. The concentration is simple, calm and clear. There's no inside or outside.
without any effort. You could remain in the clear light for many hours or even several days. Your heart center is open and your mind is nothing but clear light. To sustain this meditation, make no effort, just be at your heart center in the clear light without any concept. If your mind tries to start thinking, just relax a little, let go, rest in the clear light. 